This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. The vocal sync gives me a little kick of stress every time. Oh yeah, and, and as it should. Keep up. I don't know why. Something about it really Nicola fundamentally. Has disappeared from his home. The last time I saw him, he said something about finding Anna. I fear he is dead. I also fear that. Do I fear that? Nikolai has not been seen in some time. He seemed so happy when last I saw him. He really thought he was going to see Anna. Perhaps he did. Did you kill him? That's... <laughs> <laughs> it actually wasn't us telling him that his dead wife is uh, his ghost is in the forest. He just happened to talk to the Burgomeister at the wrong time. Yeah, yeah. All right. You know, hey, everybody. Welcome back, eh? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's commit. Let's uh, confess to our uh, our part of that whole thing. <laughs> you tell about Anna's ghost and Nikolai. So that is why he was excited about Anna. He has gone to her, I guess. Maybe they will be together again. It's nice to believe so. He's very accepting of the concept that I found his wife's ghost after however long it's been since she died, and no one else ever has. Like, yeah, I agree. My, my arrival in this valley has not been uneventful, but the Burgomeister's pretty okay with it. I think I'm just solving, like, some of his quote-unquote problems for him. Like, I'm solving real problems, but also, like, you know, Nikolai might have, uh, yeah, might be, sigh, you know, sighing a little bit of a sigh of relief. It's like, oh, yeah. I don't have, to, well, don't have the, to look after that old dude anymore. The inertia of his life must be so profound. I mean, we've met the people here. <laughs> <laughs> if there's any way you can get rid of those three fucks in the tavern, I'd be forever grateful to you. I think... <laughs> oh, go ahead. I think it's that the sort of horror movie theme. It's like every monster movie is kind of the theme of this. Very Transylvania kind of setting. And I think maybe that's what sets my teeth on edge so much. Because, like, mindlessly prejudiced and wary townsfolk are a big part of a theme. You know, cagey townsfolk, all careful of that thing. It's, it's you know, nothing good comes out of that. Do you mean it's a cult? Is it a vampire? Like, use your words. Uh, <laughs> so it's like true to setting know, those in that. Those three assholes were pretty, uh, pretty explicit about the werewolf. It's true. I'm not going to lie to you. I get down every time we come in here. <laughs> really bumps me out every time. Ha! Eureka! I have it! Uh, just <laughs> practicing for my next incredible discovery, you understand. <laughs> well, the, yeah, unfortunately, this is the only way to get uh, health potions. And, like, the joke is that he's, he's, you know, the joke is that he's fucking that monster. Eureka? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, oh, but that's the only joke. The worst joke, part but, is that we've but, already been to talk to him today, so. Yeah. It's, uh, Good luck with your observations. Like if they yeah. implied it because they just wanted to do that kind of humor and then had other bits, but that's kind of his bit. He's a little one note as far as that goes. Yeah. Well, there's also the, you know, disbelieving in magic, you know, everything is science in a <laughs> world where where magic is demonstrably true. Yeah. Yeah. He's a dill hole. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah, sure. You, you guys know. I think it's all like yeah. an excellent, like it's a. It's, I think it's a really neat play to do a sort of like Transylvania horror movie setting. It's a cool place to mm -hmm. take this game. I think, I think that it would feel a little bad being in a movie like that. You know, talking yeah, to I the know. townsfolk in a Dracula movie. It would be a bummer. Oh God, yeah, no, it would be the worst. <laughs> it would be a bummer. And they added some levity to it, but. <laughs> There's that underlying note that's just... I don't know. I have trouble with it. <laughs> <laughs> I have trouble with it. It's not yeah, I get it. It's not cheerier than the rest of my life is, you know? <laughs> no, no, I, I get it. I get it. Get it. The other hero's quests 
or, or quests for glory, sorry. The other quests... <laughs> the other quests' glory were uh, a bit more upbeat, you know, even in their darker moments. Playing chess yeah. with a crazy wizard, all that good stuff. Almost too much in some way, in some cases, you know. There's a lot of maybe too much tongue in cheek in some places, you know. But this is this is uh, not that. There is some of that, but I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and say, like, if you ask me, um, the uh, the sort of tone, like, like dialing it back, guys, a little bit, I, I think was pretty welcome, honestly. <laughs> I yeah, that's what I mean. I think this one I mean, I was love too the much. earlier games. Don't don't get me wrong. Like I grew up on these things, but uh, you know, like I mean, we're still fighting killer bunnies. You know. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, but I mean, like they've they've dialed back on the puns a bit. Yeah, there's no they've... keep on laughings here. Yeah, and if it weren't for the voice actors just making terrible decisions, we wouldn't have the you know, uh, Jack Nicholson. Uh, you know, Christian Slater and uh, Rodney Dangerfield impressions of those guys. I and mean, friends. like, certainly the Coles are complicit in that happening. They must have been in the booth and There's not said, no, don't do that, please, you know? Maybe it's the eyes. Oh. <sighs> but. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, uh, we got some questions for questions. Glory. Before we before we get into the quest for glory, I did have one thing that I, I wanted to mention. So, oh yeah. Um, yeah. Two decades yeah. later, um, the quest for glory has received an unofficial patch, um, which I don't think is automatically added in the fucker. Uh, in the the. Uh, um, <laughs> Can you fireball this clown? Oh, there it goes. There we go. It would go over There's its head. That's I'm, I think. About this bush. Um. But yeah, there's been like a big patch that restores a bunch of uh, like glitched, um, lost like voice lines and content and stuff like that. Um, we have not installed it, so this is still whatever version is sort of the GOG vanilla install. But I'm gonna probably between the these the pretty next episode and the following episodes um, install the patch, see how it goes. Yeah, because there's been a couple of times when uh, we've had some missing voice lines. So yeah, it's only it's yeah. only been a few times, but it, it has happened, and we have noticed it. And apparently, they're there. They there was just you know, um, definitive proof that uh, even in the olden days, games shipped with bugs. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> uh, this one particularly, but. Uh, uh, that like yeah, there were a lot of like recorded voice lines that are in the data files that just were not associated with any like actual um, voice lines. So th that has been restored, basically. That's good. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. So now, uh, with, with that said, you know, just so people know, like, if they're wondering if they happen to be watching this when these come out, um, welcome again. It is so good to speak with you, as always. The woods around here seem almost frightening at times. When you arrive, I know it is only my imagination that makes me nervous. I don't know if that's strictly true, because there are absolutely blood-sucking rabbits and wyverns and shit like travel. that out there. But, you know, <laughs> you probably shouldn't base that on the uh, on the survival of, like, the apex predator right now. Yeah. So we're, we're right. out here looking for the old man, right? Well, no, he's not going to show up until night. Um, I'm no. just kind of killing time, uh, grinding stats, sort of. Oh, okay, all right, um, fair enough. So it, this is a good time to answer for questions for glory, 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 glory. Okay, so we, we actually have two. <laughs> the second one is about the uh, McDonald's Cinematic Universe, which we're gonna we're gonna get to, but we're gonna need some time for that one. <laughs> Uh, but Idris asks, uh, question for Glory? Given... There's a question mark in it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Given that Christian Slater is the discount version of Jack Nicholson, and some might say that Dennis Quaid is the discount version of Harrison Ford, what other discount actors are there? Oh, boy. Um... There's so many. I'm quite... Um... 
I'm quite bad with actors because I have uh, just a touch of face blindness. So everyone looks the same to me. It's, it's just another white person, you know? <laughs> I, um, yeah, I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> so let's, I, let's have it. Uh, I think uh, the first one that comes to mind is, is uh, Kristen Bell's husband, Dax Shepard, I believe is the discount Zach Braff. <laughs> uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's true. Um, it's funny, but because it might be true, I don't know. I, I don't actually know who da- what Dak Shepard looks like. Yeah, but anyway, he's there. There's something I don't even know what Zach Braff looks like. Yeah, don't even worry about it. It's very oh yeah, very... <laughs> Scrubs guy. Yeah, guy yeah, Scrubs, Scrubs, yeah. Scrubs guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Jamie Presley's the discount Margot Robbie, but. Uh, but here's the thing about Margot Robbie is that she, she, at one point she might have been the discount Jamie discount Presley. Jamie Presley. <laughs> but now she's way right more up famous. until the Dead or Alive movie, roughly. Yeah. So they're they're yeah. sort of the Canadian Ameri- the Canadian and American dollar. They'll fluctuate back and forth on that, you know. De- <laughs> depending, I. You know, I mean, I, I don't she know. Was big but... around the sort of my name is Earl time, you know. Was that her? Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think she's coming back. <laughs> you think the last flip might have been permanent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much like yeah. the Canadian and American dollar. Yeah, I think that's just permanent now. <laughs> um gosh, there's so many though. There's so many. Like there's actors that look alike, but they're usually of a similar you know, if you're really going for like discount versions, like where you want to hire them because they're cheaper, but that's what you're kind of going for. This may betray that I haven't been paying close enough attention to all of the visuals, but I definitely thought those potions were ketchup and mustard. So when you drank, <laughs> when you just when you just quaffed a potion, a, bo- a jar each of ketchup and mustard, I actually retched a little internally. <laughs> So much vinegar. Oh my god. It's too much. It depends too on much. the mustard. Uh, well, ketchup too is real kind of vinegary, you know? Yep. It's yeah. very vinegary. Depending on the brand, some of it's well, more sweet than turns the stomach, stomach only to think about. When I was a when I was a youngster, I was at a party with other youngsters, and one of the youngsters came over with a hot dog, and he had ketchup on every square inch of him. He was <laughs> It was like you could barely see the hot dog. There was so much ketchup, and it was all down his front and over his face. And I never wanted ketchup again for the rest of my life till this moment. I'll have it now <laughs> and again. again. You know, I've got a, I've got a reasonably sturdy constitution. I can eat most anything. And now and again, I'll get a little ketchup, dip some fries in it. But like, I've never wanted ketchup on anything since that moment. It ruined my appetite for it forever. Forever. <laughs> forever. It was permanent. I developed a status condition that never went away. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that oh. I can't eat it or it makes me sick or anything it's just that like I no longer find it to be in any way appetizing that's fair that's you, fair you associate it with trauma yeah I've always felt it was a little gross since then uh, oh I thought of another one I thought of another one go on Jeffrey Dean Morgan is a discount both Javier Bardem and a Robert Downey Jr. Wow, I could see the Robert Downey Jr. Javier Bardem's got that voice, and I don't think I think without it, you can't really be a discount him. Oh uh, well, you're just talking about an accent. Guys, no, no, the, the 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 deep, like just you know the the thing that made fucking um, No Country for Old Men. You know, just that, I don't that like Jeffrey... scary fucking voice he's got. Not not Jeff, not Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I'm talking about uh, Javier Bardem. No, I know, but Jeffrey Dean Morgan's kind of got a pretty deep voice too. Maybe not as deep, but it's not it's not it's not not commanding. It's it's not as distinct though. I think. No, okay, that's fair. But I mean, you take away fucking you take away Javier's accent. What do you got? Uh, do? Jeffrey Dean Morgan does kind of look like an amalgamation of those other two. Yeah, <laughs> just sort of like if you if you put them in in, in one of those AI sort of face melding uh, tools and yeah, or if they just had a kid somehow with yeah yeah. What or I'm saying is, 
Or if their kids got married, he'd look like their grandson grown up. <laughs> yeah. But what what I'm saying is, is if you can't afford either of those guys, he's a good choice. Yeah. You I go for him, that. you know? Based on pure cosmetics, it does seem like he'd be able to split the difference for you. He's also a fucking great actor. Also, if you like, if, ni- if neither of them was quite right, he might be your guy, you know? Yeah, that's true. If you needed someone to walk that line. Yep. It's true. There you go. Bam. Answered it. I don't know why we're doing air horns right now, but I'm, I'm in. All right. Yes, I'm uh, just just add that alongside the harmonica. Let's just try to alienate everyone if we can. Hey, that's our, that's our job. I was... I was happy to see the dislike was back last week. Uh, I mean, you know, uh, we've been earning it for a while. Yeah, I I really tried. I really did my. I did my best. Did my best. Uh, JC Saran said, uh, "Hey, question for Glory. The real question is, who would take the mantle of Iron Man in the McDonald's Cinematic Universe and assemble the equivalent to the Avengers?" So. Wasn't Nick Fury that assembled the, yeah. the Avengers, though? I mean, I think Ronald McDonald would be, like, the Iron Man, but you need someone to bring them all together. Uh, yeah, well, I guess the question is whether you sort of um, consider Ronald McDonald to be... And, like, the, he's kind of like the linchpin. You gotta, don't have any rations. You gotta sort of make a choice about which one he is, but, like, is he your Iron Man analog? Um... Or is he sort of the Captain America, like, sort of, sort of leader, but also sort of, like, least interesting hero? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I think um, this, yeah, yeah. I think what we're talking about, if we're talking about the Avengers, though, I think, I really, really do think that maybe we should be talking about a fast food c- cinematic universe rather than a just a McDonald's. fast foods. Yeah, why not? Let's fucking do Is, it. Uh, it doesn't uh, need to be McDonald's. What other, what other chains does McDonald's own? It must own some others, right? I don't think they do. Uh, well, McDonald's is owned by PepsiCo. I yeah. Think. Okay. Well, in that case, yeah. So, then are we talking about the PepsiCo cinematic universe? It's but gotta I mean, be. I mean, I would love to see. You know, you know, you get your your Burger King. Your A and W root bear, the root your Wendy's. Bear. Wow. <laughs> I think, I think much like not the that MDCU, one weird dude that looks like Patton Oswalt. That's like, hey, it's not real meat. Yeah, no, you no, could, no, that guy. You could maybe get the chains to collaborate a little bit on a kind of fast food Wreck It Ralph situation. But I think if you wanted <laughs> to make a cinematic universe, you'd have to stick with properties that were under the same banner. Quite yeah. possibly. Yeah, that's that's I mean, fair. Like if you went up, if you went up up a step to PepsiCo, because I imagine PepsiCo is pitting a lot of brands against one another to drum up business. So there's sure. some things yeah. that they wouldn't put into the same soup altogether. But you could probably get a couple good brands out of there. I'm fairly certain that they also own Taco Bell and most likely Wendy's. At least Taco Bell and Wendy's in Canada are basically always in the same. Wait a minute, we thought it serves Coke. Does it? Maybe I'm thinking of maybe it's maybe it's Coca Cola that owns uh Yeah. McDonald's. Anyway. So I mean a quick Google search will will uh Yeah, I'm not doing that. it. I'm not doing it. I'm not so, I'm not playing the corporation game. You know? Poking, We're all uh, playing the corporation game, Matt. <laughs> we don't have a choice in the matter. <laughs> So, poking holes in the MDCU is not a great way to keep this hilarious ball rolling, but uh, what little I have seen of sort of Ronald McDonald and Friends content struck me as a bit Winnie the Pooh in the sense that you have one character with any sort of agency or level of responsibility who goes around helping the other characters who are essentially just a bunch of fuck-arounds. Right. So, like, right. Christopher Robin emerges from a hole in the tree and all the animals are squabbling and stealing one another's homes and Christopher Robin is the only person with any problem-solving ability. Everyone, All the animals are cowardly and selfish and small and Christopher Robin is is kind of this brave, omniscient figure who helps them. Uh, I don't Deja. know if that's also... <laughs> oh, yeah. The mustard chug. Chug that mustard, mustard chugger. 
um, the 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 side characters in uh, the Ronald right. McDonald continuity did seem to be a bit like that, where it seemed like they were mostly just a bunch of people with problems, and Ronald McDonald would kind of solve them. It's true. Even Bertie, who who seemed mostly together, would always like crash or be sad. <laughs> <laughs> and then at some point, Ronald multiclassed into magi- into like wizard because he started casting like magic spells and shit too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, do you believe in magic? That would they adopted that exactly. for a while. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh I knew shit. it. Anna, I found you, Anna, Nikolai. I have been trying to find you. Oh, uh, so it sucks long. that he's an old ghost. I never stopped looking for you, Anna. Never. But he's got a young voice. Yeah, he's got the the normal Cam Clark voice. I Wait. love you, Anna. I loved you from the moment you smiled at me, and I will love you for always. I, oh, Nikolai. I don't know if I love you this anymore. Time we will always be together. You're old and decrepit, Whatever. and I'm still a little hot. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the ghostly apparition vanishes. Are you Hot be, and creepy. Are you going to be hunched and shambly like that forever? Because there's a lot of ghosts hey. around here. Do you know how I know those guys were pros? Because they stuck to the fucking we script. We came back one last time to thank you for reuniting us. Yes. Thank you so much. Without your help, I would have been lost forever. So you forgot to add the reverb. I do not know how we can help <laughs> you. This is the last you will ever see of us. If there is anything we can do for you, please ask. Because we're about to head off into screaming oblivion. <laughs> the dark nothing that awaits us all after death. Forever. <laughs> I have not been so happy since the day of our wedding. Which is good, because Such after this it's just lights out. Still. It is better than being an old man who has lost his only love. Whoa. It has been so long, and I know so little of what goes on today. Still, some time ago, there was talk in town about a stranger moving into Borgov Castle. There was much talk and many rumors about who had moved in. I do not know whether your path will ever take you to the castle. But I do know of a secret passageway to there. Yes! Through the crypt? Ask about secret passage! My grandfather once told me that there is a secret passage that leads from the Borgov crypt in the cemetery to the castle. It was an escape route for the Borgov family when they were alive. Whoa. This guy's like the old man from Krull. anyone even saw <laughs> this stranger. We only knew him as the Dark Master. It is an ominous title. The Dark Master. Oh. Uh, if you you may of course take my hat. I have no further use for. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna, think, you're, gonna, you're, gonna you're gonna love this. This is funny. I I actually already took a bunch of shit from you. It was funny. <laughs> I robbed the <laughs> hell out of you. <laughs> and anyway, I stayed also in your home have for your days. clothes. <laughs> I was picking locks in your home while you slept until my fingers bled. <laughs> now I took physical harm. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. I was robbing you so hard. <laughs> Nikolai and I will find our way. Oh yeah. Being a ghost is not bad when you have someone you love with you. Then I'd be a ghost, and I'd be the one banging your ghost wife. <laughs> I have been lost so long. I do not know how I can help you. I'm... Perhaps you can talk to my friend Olga. She knows everything that goes on in town. No, she doesn't. She married Boris Stovich, who owns the Yeah, no, I already talked to her, guys. She did? She is such a lovely girl. Mm, I'm sure they are happy together. Well, they have to get this talk out now, Matt, because... <laughs> right. The scre- They're about to not exist. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they are, they are about to be unsummoned into oblivion. <laughs> they're, they're, they're about to succumb to entropy. <laughs> Farewell. May you never be lost. I'm like kind of into the... Farewell. May you never be lonely. Whoa, nice. Oh, this is so sweet. Apparition vanishes. Forever. Yeah. 
They're done. <laughs> Delete. There's no happy ending for those two. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm I'm not sure there is an Iron Man from the cast of characters, because I think the rest are... They could maybe get one of them a bit more put together, you know? Turn the Hamburglar into kind of a Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Now that's Justice League. No, like, we're mixing, you, you, we're mixing you, brands again. Well, yeah, but I whatever, mean, whatever. You, 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 know. you got little bits of Batman. They split them up between like Hawkeye and Iron Man, I guess. You sense curiosity and no immediate. Oh, here she comes! Hello again. Did you get my note? I hope I could see and and speak with you again. Yeah. I hope you don't think I am too um, forward. It's just that I don't meet many new people around here. I love to hear about your adventures. Okay. Oh. Yeah, sure. Been... Whatever. <laughs> Are you sure you should be out wandering? You really need to take care of yourself. I, I was about to chug this mustard, yeah. girlfriend. Don't Let's worry. See if I can make you feel better. It's, it's all right. I'm, I'm, I okay, if you want. Right here. I hope it will help you. Yeah, alright, okay, that's also a way to heal me, I, I guess. I usually use this ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> now the ketchup's for when you're poisoned. The, uh, yeah, yeah, we're mustard, the mustard chuggers. mustard heals you. Mustard chugger. Uh, so uh, anyway, let me tell you a bit about myself. I'm kind of a hero, you know? You have seen so many places and people. I love listening to your adventures. We are... Way over time. Way, way over time. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> there are not a lot of heroes around here, you know. Okay. Well, then, next uh, next time, we will continue talking to yeah. Katrina. Until then, however, thank you for watching. Uh, just absolutely destroy that bell. Hit subscribe. Um, tell your friends. Tell your what? enemies. Yeah, we're gonna um, keep we're gonna keep talking about the MDCU when we come back to. Don't worry. When you yeah. when you when you click the uh, the subscribe button, your hand should go through your desk. <laughs> Absolutely, you should get onto other people's computers and covertly subscribe them with through their YouTube accounts. Yeah, mm -hmm. bother yep. people in the street about it. Mass email your entire uh, work. I <laughs> link to our <laughs> channel. <laughs> Link to our show on your company Slack. Yeah. Um, print out stickers and put them on uh, foam, on like uh, telephone poles. If you don't fall under at least a little police suspicion in your efforts to market us and our channel, you're not doing it for enough. free. For free, by the way. We're not paying you for, for free. This. Yeah, no, absolutely. No. <laughs> <laughs> Exposure. Not even for you, just for us. Just yeah. for us. <laughs> it, we can't pay you. It's it's for exposure for us. <laughs> if you're uh, a real fan, you'll alienate some people in your life about this. Like we alienate everybody else who's not you guys. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks. Uh, take it easy. You know, stay in school. I'm sorry for this extra long episode. Really, I'm sorry for it. <laughs> okay. Really. Really. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.